All right, we made it into uh, the park entrance there at Zion National Park. Not exactly sure what this is called here. Something about a checkerboard. I'll get you get you the name here in just a second. We're headed to the plaque, but that looks pretty cool. Just heard a duck over there too. Some guy blowing his nose. We got Red and Thor here leading the way. Psycho Thor had to hurry up and get out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I got that. <laughs> what are you doing, Ding Dong? I know. Anyway, it's checkerboard mess. Uh, pretty cool looking. Wouldn't have heard as bad as I thought it would. I think I totally missed that. But right here, you can see Red and Thor there. Thor just tried to jump up on that top of this wall here. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny dog. Ooh, maybe we'll get to see some big horn. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to see some big horn. We've already saw the bison slash buffalo slash whatever you want to call them, you call them. So pretty cool. First stop. About a minute and a half into the loop here. There's a sand everywhere in here. This stuff is really soft. Absolutely gorgeous in here, though. I'm loving this. There's Retta practicing her selfie skills. I'll get over there with her. Here's some more of that checkerboard Nessa design here. Pretty cool. Just imagine how many years it took to make this. At least 10, maybe 12 million. This is the other side of the road. So we're in a little valley right here. My goodness, that is just so crazy beautiful. And then everywhere you go, there's all these little creek beds. Don't know if you caught that. There's a little chipmunk thing that just ran across it. Thor needed to get out of the uh, pickup. So Retta took him out for a second. Retta's waving. Wave, Thor. Yep, see? He's kind of waving. Not really. So he loves to get out, too. They're up there in the sand having a good time. What? Good boy, look at you sitting there all pretty. So there's a tunnel ahead of us here, and we've been sitting here for at least five minutes now. This is a second group of cars that are coming our way. Evidently, they've got it down to one lane of traffic. I'm not sure what's going on, but the line behind me is longer than the line in front of me. So I don't know if they're waiting for pedestrians in the tunnel or what, but we're going to find out here in a minute. All right, finally we're moving. There is a tunnel there. And we're stopped again. 
This might be the way to see this place. Holy cow. That was pretty cool. Can't take the dog in it. Yeah, I can't take our dog in it. Get a sidecar for it. I like it. All right, we're moving again. Are we going to make it more than one car length this time? Yes, we've made it. All right, cool. So, I think Red and I are going to get in the back seat here and make out. Picking my half out of the middle here is kind of hard to see. Pretty good sized tunnel there. Good thing I'm not driving because I wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> oh my. I'm guessing that because of pedestrian traffic, but I'm not sure that's what the problem is with all the stopping back there. We were probably there about 10 minutes. Not much time out of my life. I'm all right with it. Good thing is we don't have to come back this way. There's another exit up here. Bad thing is uh, we're not going to get to see hardly any of the park because we're not on a tour bus. Don't stop even they put those wonderful windows in. I know, right? Now I can see why they got to stop if there's pedestrians in here. There's one of those cool windows. Oh my, that was beautiful. I think the end is near. Nope, big giant window. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Wish I could show you guys. Yeah. Right. And there's probably nowhere to park here to get to that view. And if there is, the 30 cars in front of us won't allow us to park. All right. Give you a second to adjust your eyes here. <laughs> your eyes on the road. There's a big drop off there. You kind of see the stuff in front of us here. Speed limit 30. Yeah, I don't think so. A big drop off. I wouldn't want to end up down there. Well, and you know, oh, the road's right below us here, too. We're going to be making a U turn basically. She's got a microphone on you so you could talk. All right, we got another U turn coming up. And we are going down fast. I'll be darned. Big RV in front of us.
You want to stop here, dear? So right there is where we just came out of. And right there, sorry for the glare, that's one of the windows in the tunnel. So we just went through all of that rock right there. I'm guessing that we were just on the other side of that little valley right there. Look at this. Man, oh man. Bad thing about pulling off here is now uh, that we got a hundred cars in front of us. <laughs> oh well. We're the slowest ones probably driving anyway. We're taking our time. You know, when you come to places like this, why rush through it? Enjoy the scenery. And that's what it looks like where we're headed. My, oh my. I just haven't seen anything in here that I haven't liked so far. All right, we just left the park. We're now in Springdale which I'm not sure what it's all about, but we're going to drive through here and see. Now, my opinion of whether or not that was worth $35, it is per car. I don't know. It was pretty cool, but not a lot of places to get off the road and go do stuff. And we were here right when they opened up, you know, within 10 minutes. And... It's just crazy up there. So you definitely want to get here at the at the beginning. You're going to have to wait at the tunnel. I'm guessing they have it closed to uh, one direction only. Or one, you know, row of cars either direction at a time. So, which is probably a good idea. It was pretty dark in there. But anyway, overall, you know, I, I enjoyed it. We had a good time. You have a good time? So, would I do it again? Mm, maybe not. I would, and go on the shuttle once I don't have a dog. Right. I would like to do that. So, yeah, I think you can look at our pretty faces now. <laughs> <laughs> I I think, you know, if Freda wants to do it again and go on the shuttle, I would, I would come in with her and do it again. This is definitely going in my book of things that I want to do more in depth of again because I would love to go and do the shuttle, but it's not something I can do at all. So this trip is a no go. Yeah, and there are a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, but there's several trails back there, and most of the parking at the trailheads was already taken this morning. There were a few that had two or three cars left in them. Some of them were only two or three car spots. But we're going to... Uh, okay. I don't have an eight hour hike in me. So. Yeah, we don't have that. And right across... I see me looking over there, but right across is uh, Zion Outfitter, and it says, Hike, Bike, and Tube. There is a river right here, and evidently you can tube down it. So, might be something uh, for everyone to do. It's currently 75 degrees at 10.30 in the morning. So, yeah, it took us just a little over an hour to get through that hour and a half. So, we could have easily spent four to five hours in there. If you are going to do any of the hiking or anything like that, we wouldn't have hiked all the long trails. 
No, but but some of the, yeah, you can, you can turn around on the trail anywhere you want. Oh, yeah. Um, that you can ride through here? E-bike. E-bike, that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. Um, I couldn't do it on a regular bicycle, but an e-bike would probably really be awesome. Yeah, so I think that's going to conclude our portion of the Zion National Park. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and we got a couple other things we're going to go do today. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching a couple squirrels up on a big rock over there chasing each other around. So no wildlife up there other than the bison when we first came in or buffalo or however you want to say it. Still no big horn sheep. No, nope, no big horn sheep. We didn't even see any little horn sheep. So, uh-oh. I'm guessing that's the president calling, so. All right. See you in a bit. Enjoy.